Marcus, thank you. Heart disease is kills more than 350,000 Americans each year, and it's the number one killer of women in our country. This is according to the American Heart Association. NBC 15's Shana Najawin spoke with a 76-year-old woman who considered herself healthy, but then went on to have several heart attacks over the span of about 15 years. Maria, Mary Zillman grew up on Lake Monona in Madison and has been active throughout her whole life, partaking in everything from water skiing to ice skating to swimming. But it was 2004 when Zillman learned that physically active or not, heart disease does not discriminate. I guess it just happens and you just, you don't know why there isn't reason for it or anything. February is American Heart Month. Heart disease first took Mary Zillman by surprise in 2004. I thought it was acid reflux because my stomach. But my hands were blue and my feet were blue and my husband said, we better take you in. So I went in and yes, I did have a heart attack. But years went by and after some encouraging test results, Zillman thought she was in the clear, but she was wrong. Came home from dinner with my daughter and I guess I took my blood pressure or something. I don't even remember. That's a total blank. Um, but I remember calling 911. She learned not enough blood was getting to her heart. The American Heart Association says the condition disproportionately impacts women. We know that women have additional biological risk factors. We know that cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of new moms. And we know that women are 6% less likely to receive CPR in a bystander situation. Cardiologist at SSM Health Andrea Rock says there are skills everyone can learn to help save lives. Adequate, immediate CPR can raise your chances of surviving a cardiac arrest double or triple times what they would be without CPR. It is critically important. And makes this month even more impactful. Women need to be more aware of of um, making sure that when they have their physical that everything is checked out, including their heart. The American Heart Association says about 90% of people experience a heart attack outside of a hospital will die. To find out how to effectively administer CPR, visit NBC15.com for a 90-second instructional video. Live in the studio, Shana Nijawin, NBC15 News.